Vicar and Linda join us on Artworks Malolele and hello. Malolele. Malolele na Mila. Perfect Perfect Tongan. <laughs> I was practicing. Thank you. <laughs> now let's talk about the wait. Why a pandemic to release a new album? Well, we released three. Namilla, we worked hard. <laughs> no mucking around. No mucking around, was it, Vic? No, no. <laughs> Last year we had uh, our anthology and then we had a gospel record out and and then this year we had uh, something like 10 days we were let loose out of lockdown <laughs> and we went into the studio and made the wait. And we, we really wanted to keep motivated and keep working and even though we were in lockdown, we just... We had a lot of Zoom meetings and... We've got a lot of big square eyes now, but it was so much fun. We hadn't spent that much time at home, you know, really seriously, where we could just sort of focus on our own careers. We're always working with other people all over the place. But this really made us focus on, OK, we need to make a record. What is it about the art of songwriting where you see a song and you're like, yep, that absolutely lands? First of all, we listen to the melody. If it's like really something that, you know, pricks up our ears and then we look at the lyrics. So it's very important that what we're about to sing is honest. I think as we're getting older too, you know, we've had that life experience. So I think we're better singers now maybe than we were when we were 18. So I, I like that and I'm glad that we, we still have a career, you know, in this really, really tough industry. Well, going back to those early days when you first started out, I mean, I want to say I think I encountered you both back in the late 80s. I think it was around then with the song Change to the Wheel, which I was so struck by how beautiful your harmonies were in that song. Know what you really mean. You can't get enough to get enough of I was absolutely gobsmacked because I'd never seen two powerful Islander women uh, performing within the Australian music scene before. And I'm wondering what both your reflections are as you see the rise and rise of more artists of colour within the Australian music industry. It's about time. I think it's wonderful to see them being given some airtime to turn on the television and see a face that you, you can relate to. We didn't realise when we were doing it that, you know, we were kind of in a rare pond. It didn't occur to us. I, well, it didn't occur to me. I didn't see... I couldn't feel the impact until, you know, we go out in, in public. But that's been a, a really great thing to witness and to still be around to see that it's growing and it's broad and it reflects our diverse Australian community. So you're here at Artworks and I need to twist your arm a bit. Can I get you guys to do a song for us? Yes. yes. Is that really? all right? We'd love to. OK, so maybe a song off the wait. What are you going to perform for us? We're going to do a song that was written by the beautiful Don Walker. Mm. He wrote a song called I Miss You in the Night and we do it as a duet with Cameron on piano for yeah. this special performance for you. Vicar and Linda Ball, thank you so much for joining us on Artworks. Thank, thank you, you Nila. Nila. Precious voices through the window
Miss.